Notice as soon as God seen the seed of the woman and how they had been misconstrued there and righteousness had been perverted, God gave a promise that through that woman would come a blessed seed. Amen. You get it? Amen. There would be a seed. And just as soon as Satan heard that, who was standing present, as soon as he heard it, he tucked in to destroy that seed. And he tried to do it in Joseph. He tried all through the age. And he's still against that blessed seed. Amen. Amen. I want you to put on your deep thinking caps just for a minute now. As put on the helm of salvation and listen close now. Here's something Real vital. And you may disagree with it. It's all right. But did you notice as soon as there had already been a, a conception for Eve had already lived unrighteous and had committed the sin, where did that come from? That's in Genesis. Man today are trying to find the missing link between animal and man. Amen. This is revelation. The Bible said that the serpent beguiled the woman. Today man can bring up animal life and the closest animal they have to the human being is a chimpanzee. They can make him smoke a pipe, ride a bicycle, put on a hat, tip it, that's just like G and Hall to a horse. It's sound. He has no soul. He can't think. He can only go by sound. He doesn't have a soul. Then they got a missing link right in between here that they never have been able to find. And for 6,000 years they tried to get one mutter out of a Japanese and can't do it. They never will. But we know that we're animal life. We're plant life out of the earth. As I was saying the other day at our dear sister's funeral, we are a bunch of 16 elements out of the earth of cosmic light and petroleums and things put together. We were here when God spoke and said, Let there be. Our bodies were. But something, a mastermind, developed us into what we are now. Made us with hands and arms and so forth, not to destroy us, but that we might live forever. Amen. Sin done the destroying. And He who made us without us having any, any idea of ever being here, He that made us and brought these things together and made us what we are now, can He not much more by giving us free moral agency to accept it and by the same word that created us promise us? That he'd raise us up again? Amen. How much more will all this petroleum come together and the atoms and so forth in the, by the Word of God? Now, in the beginning, when God spoke and Satan was standing there and he heard it and the people are trying to find this missing link, I'll tell you by revelation, if you want to receive it, that missing person between animal and Man is the serpent Amen. before he had his legs taken from him. The Bible said he was the most subtle of all the beasts, not reptile, of all the field. He was the one who beguiled a woman in his beauty. And she conceived him. Now, by doing that and seeing sin was coming, God put such a curse upon him to sign it to never find any relationship between this serpent as known today and mankind. But there is your fallen, degraded being between that hooked the animal life together. Right. There you are. God has hid it from the wise and prudent, but we reveal it to babes such as we'll learn. See? There's your fallen person. The serpent. He was brought from way the most subtle, the greatest, the most beautiful the more like human being. And then because of this evil that he did with Eve, he brought him down to a reptile to go on his belly all the days of his life and thus should be his meat. Therefore, science can come to there and their trees knocked down. Notice, 
Now, as soon as the woman seen that she... The, now, she was deceived. She didn't bring sin. She was deceived. She thought it was right. But Adam was not deceived, said the Bible. He knew it was wrong. And she had him to do the same thing that the beast had done. And she brought forth her first son, which all the traits of the devil was in that boy. He was a murderer. He was jealous. How could it come from that pure stream of God? It had to come from the evil. Amen. And as soon as he did this, then he, the devil used his tool. She brought forth her second son, which was after Adam. And in there was Abel. And right quick the devil tried to destroy that righteous seed. Amen. And he turned around and slew Abel to begin with, which is a type of Judas and Jesus. Slew him at the altar. Toward Jesus, Judas slew, slew Jesus, betrayed him for 30 pieces of silver and sold him. All right. But notice, when he did that, then God... A type of Christ, both death and resurrection, he raised up Seth to take his place. Amen. See? And the devil took after Seth. Now watch. Along before the Andalusian destruction, there was a long lineage of man who came down through the sons of Cain from the land of Nod, and they were scientists, smart, intelligent, marvelous man. They even tempered metals. They built homes. They were a marvelous civilization. The Bible goes ahead and said how they work with copper, how they work with metal. But this other group was wanderers. Amen. <laughs> but both groups was religious. Cain was religious. Abel was religious. And God draw a line which was right. Cain was just as religious as Abel. They both built altars. They both believed in God. They both worshipped God. They both brought gifts. Now watch them two seeds. One fighting the evil, trying to destroy the righteous seed. And he tried to destroy Abel. He did. But God raised up Seth to take his place. He thought he had Jesus right there. Look down through the age, everywhere, he, every place he comes, he cornered that seed. When he slew one and the other, he thought he had that. And finally, he, he took after John the Baptist. Finally cut his head off. He thought he had him then. But he found out he was over here in Jesus. Amen. He slew all the babies and Moses. He tried to kill Moses. He tried every way he could to destroy that seed. And when he killed Christ at Calvary... But God raised him up again the third day. Amen. And then he sent the Holy Ghost back to call sons. Amen. Daughters of God. And that same evil religious seed is persecuting that righteous seed yet today. Amen. You see it? They're trying to destroy that righteous branch of God. Amen. Now, both sides, if you notice, it started in Genesis religious. On both sides, one of them denominational, high-minded, and the other one humble, walking in the Spirit by revelation. How could Abel ever know that it was a lamb instead of fruits from the field? Because it was revealed to him by divine revelation. Amen. Jesus said the same when Peter confessed him to be the, the Son of God. He said, flesh and blood has not revealed this to you. But my Father which is in heaven has revealed this to you. Amen. Upon this rock. Amen. The rock, not Peter, not Jesus, but on the divine revelation. Amen. I'll build my church and the gates of hell cannot prevail against Amen. it. You get it? Amen. It's divine revelation. Not